I have been married to Eve for six years and we have a family that we love. Our family includes three Pomeranians and a kitten and we love them so much and we spend so much time with them and we adore them. Our world was wonderful until Eve came home and he confessed to me that he had went out and he cheated on me and called an STD. He just came out with a whole bunch of lies and just kept saying it over and over and over again. His first lie was, it was just a bacterial infection. Then he came out with another lie stating that he had contracted something before our time and he still had it to this day. I didn't understand. So another lie he told me was a lady had came up to him and forced herself on him. She threw him up against the door and she had her way with him. Eventually he broke down and told me that it was consensual, like he didn't stop her. And to top it all off, to make it so more upsetting to me, he admitted to having intercourse with this woman in the back seat in the third row of my truck. It makes me feel horrible as a person to be with somebody that you trust and you believe in and you give them your all and for them to betray you so evil, like I'm an enemy. I'm not an enemy, I'm your wife. I took our wedding photos, destroyed them because that's how he made me feel because my marriage was destroyed. He wanted to make it sound like it wasn't planned and that he didn't have no intentions really to do anything with a female, but he stopped at the convenience store to purchase protection and Viagra, male enhancements, whatever he wanted to purchase. So he claims that this was the only situation that he was in far as cheating on me. But when I contacted the Steve Wilco show and they called me back and he knew that they called me back and I was interested in pursuing to get this test done, he also confessed that there was another woman. He even confessed and told me that he only cheats with ugly women. Like, that does not make me feel better at all by him telling me that. It doesn't make me happy at all. I want Eve to know that he hurt me. He hurt me so bad. He crushed me, he crushed our dreams. He even destroyed our anniversary. He destroyed Thanksgiving, he destroyed Christmas. He destroyed everything. If he fails, it's divorce. How do you feel about what she said? I'm hurt right now. That I'm about to lose my wife, the love of my life. Someone that I vowed to protect and cherish. How long have you and your wife been together? Been together for nine years, Steve. Nine years. She seems like a nice lady. She, oh, that's my love. Yeah. Nine years, and I understand uh, you, you both have children from previous relationships, but you have your, your little family with your dogs there, your cat. You know, it's, it seems like it wasn't just a one-time thing. You're sleeping with a woman in your car, and, you know, you're contracting STDs, and, you know, you're making up stories. Oh, she forced herself on I me. Mean, I mean, come on. That's, that's the worst one yet, you know. I knew... Once I told her the truth, I knew the marriage was going to be destroyed. I knew our family was going to be destroyed. I let her down, Steve. Yeah. Is there any chance that you can repair it and, and make it work? I want to. Yeah. I can't live without my wife. Yeah. We've been together for so long. I just want to make it right and show her that I will be there to listen, and I know her worth. She has a heart of gold, and I don't want to lose that. How many years in the nine years did you cheat? This is the first year I ever cheated. Just last year? Just this year. I should have stayed the person I was when we first met, and that was loving, caring, talkative, everything that she wanted in a man, that was me. I don't know why I shut down. And she, all she asked me was just for love, attention, and communication. She made me realize a couple of weeks ago what I was doing wrong. Me walking past her, not speaking to her, me not noticing her, 
me not paying her no you're, attention. You're shutting her out when you're the one who did wrong. Right, Steve. Yeah. So if there wasn't another woman that forced herself on you, right? No, there wasn't. I lied about all of it. Yeah. What exactly did you say? I told her I, was, I just made it to work and I was coming out of the locker room. Someone asked, the woman asked me to get something down from her. I told her that I was doing it and when I turned around to hand her what she asked for, she slammed the door, pushed me up against the door and had her way with me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Only in our wildest dreams would that happen, right? <laughs> your wife's oh. picture is on, on the dashboard of your car? Yes. And so you're, you're, you know, as the kids say, smashing in the third row. <laughs> and, and your wife is like looking at you in the picture, right? Yes. Isn't that kind of, like, didn't you feel awkward? Your wife's looking at you. I know it's a picture, but, like, there's your wife's face, and you're, you're smashing. At the time, Steve, I forgot about it. You I forgot about the picture. I forgot about the picture. I, Why don't you go all the way back to the third row? What's wrong with the second row? I mean, I'm serious. Like, I'm looking at that, and I'm like, it's a, man, it crawling it's a, all the way back there? It's a... Truck, it's an SUV truck, so more it's comfortable long. In third it's more, row? I, yeah. I get, yes. Did you tell your wife you only cheat with ugly women? <laughs> yes, Steve. <laughs> because my wife is so beautiful. Yeah. My life, I'd rather be seen in public with her than to be seen in public with someone that I didn't care about, I didn't know, I really didn't want to know. How many different women did you sleep with? Two. Two. Both pretty decent looking? No. One was good looking? No. They're both ugly? Yes. Come on now, aren't you being a little mean? No. But what I'm saying is, why would you call a woman ugly when she's giving you the most intimate part of her? Basically, I just wanted what I wanted. Yeah. I didn't. You're being selfish. I was being selfish. Yeah. Um, what did your wife do with the wedding ring? Well, um, she threw it out the window of the car on our way home from work. I didn't know this until... That had to be pretty shocking. I didn't know this until I made it home. And um, she had me sit down in a chair facing her. And when I walked through the door, all I seen was anger, pain. I seen everything. And she started taking our pictures that we took over the course of the years and slamming them down on the floor, breaking the frames. And she told me, she's like, by the way, I took the wedding ring. I slung it out the window. That's, uh, that's a lot of anger. Uh, she printed out divorce papers? She told me she printed out divorce papers and that if this lie detector test come back, that I, I failed, that yeah. our marriage is over. So I would think that if you're coming here knowing that, you're going to tell the truth on this lie detector test. I'm, tell her, I'm telling the truth. I t everything I told her up to now is the truth, and I'm here to fight for my marriage. You know I love you, and you broke us. You broke this marriage. You broke that trust. I don't understand. I don't understand you. I can't trust you. I can't trust your lies. You done told me seven different lies, and you expect me to believe you? I, 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 don't, I don't believe this. I'm sorry. That's all you keep saying is I'm sorry. That I destroyed your trust. I start hurt. I betrayed your love. I just want you to know you're the love of my life. You're, you're all I want. I don't want no one else. How can you tell me that you're in love with me and you love me, but yet do something so evil? You can... Give somebody else the time that all I've been begging and crying for. You see me at my weakest. You see me on the floor crying. You come pick me up. Tell me it's okay. It'll be okay. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to give you all of that. But yet, you can still entertain somebody else in my vehicle? Not once. Not twice. Three times? He stopped talking. 
He stopped communicating. He stopped coming home and noticing me, just like what he told you on stage. Yeah. He stopped, he stopped that. So it changed. Big change. Yeah. So I brought it to his attention. Every day I'm begging this man, why don't you talk to me? Why don't you show me that affection? And do you think it's because he started interacting with other women? I think that he was glancing. He was trying to glaze to get on out there to, yeah. to round his um, up. When he told you a woman basically raped him, what I knew that was a lie. Yeah, I mean, come on. I knew that was a lie. Yeah. And then that come. Uh, That's the, the worst damn lie you could tell. Oh, I, I, she, she forced herself. I couldn't fight her off. Oh, she took advantage of me. Come on. I didn't believe that yeah. one bit. I knew that. Eve came here. I'm took, right here. Took a lot of talk to Tusk. Yeah. yeah. And we asked him while in a relationship with Stacy, other than the two women she knows about, have you engaged in sexual intercourse with any other woman? He answered no. While in a relationship with Stacy, other than the two women she knows about, have you engaged in physical sexual acts or contact with any other women? He answered no. The results came back the same to both those questions, and it came back that Eve told the truth. I wasn't hiding anything else. Mm -hmm. I told you the truth about everything. Mm -hmm. All I ask is you give me another chance. All I ask is you put this ring back on your finger and I promise to be your protector. From here on now, I will not let you down. I promise you, I love you. I need you in my life. Not out my life. All I want is you and you only. I don't want the family to break up. I'm gonna have to say I have to think about it still. I still have to think about it. It's gonna take time. The reason why I don't wanna take that and the reason why I threw it out the window it's because this man texted me while I was at work and told me all his confession. Yeah. While I was at work. Yeah. Had all the ample time to tell me to my face. So when, on the way home, I just chucked it. Yeah. I, I just... You didn't go back 10, to work 9,000. No. My mind was like... He know I don't tolerate a lot of yeah. disrespect. Somebody's gonna find that ring and be real happy. Well, they're gonna be real happy. They yeah. can have them lies. Yeah. That, that ring came with lies. Yeah. That's how I felt. Okay, so now, and, and listen, I think your reaction is probably the most real, sensible reaction that people, like some people, oh, okay, honey, and they tell, oh, wait. Uh, no, I but, can't. But I, because it is hard to over, you know, overcome betrayal. Right. And, you know, again, you're not kids anymore. You know, mm -hmm. you're a little older. Uh, you had this nine-year relationship. He, I would, I'd be just like you. You're going to have to do a lot. Prove it. it. Takes time. I'm not just going to say, oh, we're back together. You know, this just recently happened. It, it's going to take a lot from you. Yeah. And, but the fact that she's even leaving the door that much open, I would think that you should be very grateful for that. I am, Steve. He needs help. He needs counseling. He needs... He needs therapy. He needs, he needs to. He needs to work on himself. Yeah, it's gonna take time. Yeah, yeah. I also need it too. You yeah. know, but I feel like that my life right now, I'm a strong-headed person. I'm, you know, I like to go for what I, think I want either, in life. I think either way, you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Right. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Finally. Nice <laughs> luck. You're awesome. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.